In this video, we're going to cover more detail about how WAS logging works. The first thing to do is to go to this book here, WebSphere Application Server 8.5 Administration and Configuration Guide for the full profile, and then go down to page 274, and you'll see a description of the JVM logs that we talked about, the diagnostic trace service logs, the process logs, the service logs. These are essentially what we've already covered in previous videos. So what we want to do now is to look at two things. One is something called messages, and this is on page 50, um, Sorry, this is on page 1108, and you can see the different types of messages. These are what are called message types, and this is the typical system out log that you've almost certainly been working with. Notice that an I here refers to an informational message. So that's I here, an A is an audit, a W is a warning, an E for an error, and F is for fatal. Now, this is the case where you have JVM uh, logging, and you can see that listed here under on the next page, uh, previous page, JVM log interpretation. You see basic format, advanced format, and so on. But the important thing is that all of these are, uh, we're actually we're going to cover why in a second, but all of these are laid out in uh, the same format. Timestamp, thread ID, thread name, short name, and you can see all of those listed through here. So just get an idea of when you're looking at logs, you know what it is that you're looking at column by column. The, you see the long name and the event type is what we've been calling these messages. Page 1110 gives you a visual breakdown of how this works. There are two kinds of logs. There's a basic mode and an HPEL. We're not using HPEL, but the basic mode is what you're most familiar with. That's what we use here. And you can see you have the Java trace, the Java logs, the system out, system error, and C out and C error, all of the locations that these uh, logs are going to. And if you open this page from Oracle, you will see that there is something called a class called java.util.logging.level. And it's actually java.util.logging that ICFM uses. And this should look very, very familiar. We have severe, warning, info, config, fine, finer, finest. And these are the official levels as set by the Java EE. But notice that third parties, IBM in particular, can define additional logging levels by subclassing level. So the most detail you will get is through finest. And this is actually not a surprise because remember that we had seen from before when you log into the WAS uh, console, the administrative console, which remember is available only on the node that runs the deployment manager. There's an earlier video if that seems a little strange or is new terminology for you. Go to here, we'll go to troubleshooting, we'll go to trace logs and trace. We're going to go to the ICFM server. We'll go to the JVM logs, and then as we had seen before, this this is the system out location. We're going to look at this thing here with the braces. This is called a WebSphere variable. We'll look at that later. But what we want to do, and you can actually see this if we go to the run time here or for the trace, is we want to look at the levels. And actually, here to get to the levels, remember you need to go through the diagnostic trace. The levels are important because when you go to the runtime tab here, then components and groups, components, and then you go down to com.ibm.cf. This is the counter fraud system here. So when you click here, you get these options for doing lo logs. And if you open this up, look at this. It should also look very familiar now. We see fatal severe warning audit config detail fine finer finest in other words fatal is the least amount of detail you could get and finest is the most detail that you could get and those values are stored or set up and used in code so in the case of cfm we use import java.util.logging.level so that should look familiar and then separately we use something called a logger now if you notice or if you're familiar at all with Java, you be familiar with something called system dot out dot, and usually print line where you can put something in here, something like hello, and that would actually be printed out in the output of your program. Well, in a Java EE world, that would go to system out. And that should look familiar. System out here it is, and going to a log called system out. Now that this is a bad way. Uh, not a very good scalable way in enterprise applications to write logs. So instead you go through these loggers here and you can see how our system does it uh, with logger, dot logger, level, finest. You can see it's in the code that these messages would be 
written out to log, something to log in this case here. Now, if you, uh, as we had seen before, uh, if you go into our system here, let's do it live, you'll see that you have com.ibm.cf and you have com.ibm.cfm. This we don't come into because it's com.ibm.cfm.logger, and this is where we can do additional code. We could have maybe run log4j. If you're familiar with log4j at all, then log4j is a kind of uh, newer, let's say, more flexible way to do logging, but its output too can go to system out.log. Now, for more detail about the java.util.logging, this is a nice post here. And what this says is essentially at the top of every class, you would do something like this. And then when you get to do your logging, you would write it essentially like this, logger.log, level.find or finder or finest, and then your, your message, which we essentially have already looked at. Now, this is also, a, that was from Stack Exchange. This is another post from Stack Exchange, which does a nice job of explaining um, how internally, uh, WebSphere uses Jakarta Commons logging or JCL and how if you want to use something like log4j you can do it but essentially uh, it, it, what you would do in the case of log4j is you would put the log4j uh, files in the right location and in this case it's uh, meta inf uh, slash services but the, the larger point here and I'll let you read these but the larger point is that system.out is kind of a central location that you can place uh, your log files depend, and it's somewhat independent on the system uh, that's doing the logging and that internally we mostly use this and a lot of software really uses this so this is uh, again a kind of nice way to look at the logging system uh, as a whole